this be one of the best moments of your life. You're listening to the Business Mirror Podcast for a broader look on business with Senior Editor Dennis Estopase. Good day, I'm Dennis Estopase and welcome to Wednesdays with John Mangan, a podcast to be anchored by John Mangan, a columnist for the Business Mirror newspaper and who operates a website titled mangononmarkets.com. Mr. Mangon will share with us one of the many pieces he wrote for his column titled Outside the Box, which is published every Tuesday and Thursday in the op-ed section of the Business Mirror. We hope you enjoy your Wednesday with John Mangon. The Coming Cash Tsunami Regardless of what you are being told, the Philippine Stock Exchange is not going to react meaningfully or sustainably to inflation, unemployment, or government pronouncements. Those are all excellent during normal times, but not now. More seriously is the on-off, on-off severity of the quarantines. I do not blame government because they are caught between a rock and the hard spot of the experts on what to do. These decisions are extremely difficult. Quote, Germany hopes for reopening up by late May. Unquote. But Germany has also recorded 10,279 new cases last Monday and has 311,000 active cases and 1,000 deaths per million population. Quote, Monday, May 3rd marks the first stage of the gradual reopening of France from lockdown measures. Secondary schools and high schools return largely to full-time in-person teaching. A nighttime curfew remains in force. Unquote. France posted 900,000 active cases and 5,600 serious cases, both the highest in Europe, on Monday. Do not read in any comparisons with the Philippines. Those are just facts which in the age of COVID always needs a political angle. I don't do politics. The pay is terrible, unlike with the stock market. Buying anything and everything runs on and is motivated by your expectations. You buy a pair of shoes expecting that for some predetermined period of time, and you get to decide what that is, the shoes will still work to keep your feet off the worm infested ground will be comfortable and look terrific. You do not buy thinking, gee, I hope they'll still be good tomorrow. The same is true when buying stock market issues. The problem right now is the same monster that always hurts, haunts the market, uncertainty. You do not buy shoes if you are uncertain if they are going to last. You do not buy stock if you are uncertain what will happen generally and specifically in the future. And it is not worrying about bad news. Bad news can be just as profitable as good news if you know what to do. It's like I said in my interview on ANC the other day. What if you won $5 million in the lotto today? Which five-star hotel are you taking the whole family for dinner to celebrate? Are you really interested in fighting the paperwork nightmare to go to Hong Kong or Boracay? Are you going to use the money to buy some Xiaomi kiosk? How about opening a beauty salon or a clothing store? Or are you going to wait to invest your cash, which does not have an expiration date, and there's no time urgency? The same is true for the stock market. However, once the uncertainty begins to dissipate significantly, we will see a growing kaboom in the stock market. That is because there is a massive amount of cash sitting on the sidelines. Global personal savings has exploded in the past year. Oxford Economics calculates that over the course of the crisis, U.S. households saved $1.6 trillion more than they would have done. HSBC estimates that households in the Eurozone saved 470 billion euros more than in 2019. 
from a total personal savings of less than five trillion in January 2020, five trillion pesos. As of January 2021, that has increased by 730 billion. This cash sets up for a major spending and investment boom once the virus is suppressed. Be ready for the cash tsunami. Thank you for listening to the Business Mirror Podcast for a broader look on business. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Business Mirror. Until next time.